In this video, I want to talk about monosaccharides, which are just simple sugars. I want to talk about the difference in how to draw the D form versus the L form, and the alpha anomer versus the beta anomer. And I'm going to do this for, actually, I'm actually just going to show you the Hayworth projections for all these different um, sugars. But um, I'm only going to do the example for one particular sugar, and then I'll post a link for you guys that kind of gives you a description of all these different um, monosaccharides. Okay, but first thing I want to do, I'm going to draw, um, the first example I want to do is glucose. And specifically, I want to do beta D glucose. So glucose is a six-membered ring with the O in the top right. And because of D, I have a CH2OH going up. Now, the way I remember how to draw glucose is I think of, when I think of glucose, I think of milk duds. Because milk duds are sweet and they're full of sugar and glucose is a sugar. And that's fun and easy. Okay. So, uh, in order to kind of understand why I even wrote milk dud here, is that we have to number these carbons. Keep an, an eye on them. So there's six, five, that's carbon number four, three, two, and one. So it's a six, those are the six carbons there. Okay. Now, this in order is carbons two, three, four, and this dud here, D U D, stands for down, up, down. So the OH on the second carbon goes down, the OH on the third carbon goes up, and the OH on the fourth carbon goes down. Okay, so that's how I remember that. Now, I want to split the page in half and kind of show you how that's different from alpha D glucose in just a second. But what about the OH that goes on the, on the first carbon? Because it's beta, the OH is going to go up and be on the same side as the CH2OH. Okay, so the way I kind of keep that in mind is I think of uh, beta equals batter up. That's, that's just how, what helps me remember. That's specifically for the D form, right? But the, the, the technical definition of, of beta is that the OH the, on the anomeric carbon, which is this carbon, right, that OH is going to be cis or on the same side to the CH2OH, right? They're both on the same side. They're both up, okay? So how does this differ from alpha D-glucose? Well, alpha D-glucose differs only at the anomeric carbon, right? So most of it is going to be, actually let me draw that a little bit bigger, alpha D-glucose looks like this. So this, it's still a D-sugar, so the CH2OH is going to be up like that. And this is still going to be down, up, down, right, for carbons 2, 3, and 4. The only difference is that instead of the OH group going up, the OH group is going to come down, so that it's alpha. So, um, I know that alpha has to be trans, right? The OH group has to be trans to the CH2OH, and they are. This one's going up and this one's coming down. So, the, this OH group is trans to the CH2OH. Okay. Now, how do you draw the L forms of these? Well, the way I remember it is that if I just draw the D form, the L form is the same thing, except everything that was up is now going to be down, and everything that was down is now going to be up. So if I draw beta L glucose, right, that's going to be the enantiomer of this. So still the six membered ring just like this, with the O up, oops, with the O right here. Right now instead of the CH2 going up, it's going to come down below the, the plane. This was down, up, down. Those are all going to be reversed. So it's going to be up, down, up, right? And this OH was up, so now it's going to go down. Notice that this is still beta, right? So we would expect to see the OH group on the anomeric carbon. We want that anomeric carbon OH to still be on the same side as the CH2OH, and it is. Okay, so I'm going to just circle these anomeric carbons in, in purple. Okay, so um, now I'm going to do alpha L glucose, and that's going to look like alpha D glucose, except everything is flipped upside down. CH2OH comes down. It's going to be up, down, up for these OHs. And here the OH was down, so now it's going to go up, and it's still trans to the CH2OH because it's alpha. 
Okay. So now the kind of way to remember, I'm going to do a few more sugars, right? Doing glucose, galactose, fructose, ribose, and deoxyribose because those are the most important ones to biochemistry. I'm not going to manipulate them all in the same way. Instead, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to link you to a sort of uh, PDF of all these different sugars drawn the correct way. Um, so I'm henceforth for the rest of these sugars. I'm only going to draw the beta D form, and then I would expect that you would manipulate it. Um, according to the, to the to the sort of the way you should remember it so um, so beta D galactose is also a six uh, carbon sugar and it's on the six membered wing as well so beta D galactose it's D so the CH2 is going to OH is going to go up but now it's not going to be a milk dud for this one it's DUU Okay, so again, the carbon is 2, 3, and 4, so it's going to go down, up, up. Those are where the OHs go. Now it's beta, so it's going to have going to go up and be on the same side as the CH2OH. Okay, so this is beta D-galactose. All right. Now, the next one I want to do, henceforth, I'm, like I mentioned, I'm only going to draw the beta D forms. Okay. Because that's sort of the way I remember it. I just remember the beta D forms, or the the D form, really. And then I just remember how to manipulate it if I want something else, right? So here, the next one is going to be um, fructose, okay? So I'm going to draw beta D fructose. Now, fructose, it's a little bit weird. It's a six-carbon molecule. It's a six-carbon sugar. Actually, let me go through and, and note really quickly here that this glucose is a six carbon sugar galactose is a six carbon sugar as well fructose is also a six carbon sugar but fructose is a little bit different in that it's a six carbon sugar but it's in a five membered ring okay so this five membered ring looks like this for fructose where the O is up top here okay so it's still a D sugar so the CH2OH here the six carbon is going to be pointing up. Okay, so now let's number these carbons like we did with glucose because now we have a five member ring, so that might be a little bit different. So six, five, four, three, two, or missing a, a, the last one. So I'll actually show you what happens in just a second. But for fructose, I think of the acronym, I think of um, fructose is just UD, right? FUD. So that's just for carbons three and four right so this one's gonna go so carbon number three is gonna be pointing up carbon number four is gonna be pointing down okay now it's beta D glucose which means that the OH it has to be on the same side as the CH2OH so the OH is gonna go up this way so that's gonna be beta but now where is that that first carbon well it's gonna be right down here as a CH2OH okay so that's where carbon number one is Okay, in case that was kind of confusing. So fructose is a little bit weird there. Okay, but the same idea applies is that this here is the anomeric carbon, and that for um, in order to draw this, you would just manipulate it in very much the same way that we did up here with glucose. Okay, so that's glucose, galactose, fructose. Two more that we want to do. Um, first one, let's do ribose. So let's do the beta D form of ribose. So ribose is also in a five-membered ring, right? And ribose um, is actually a five-carbon sugar, okay? So it's actually a five-carbon sugar. So it doesn't have a CH2OH hanging off this first carbon here. So D sugar, CH2OH goes up, right? Ribose, I think, RDD. Ribose, DD down down right and that's for carbons number carbon numbers three and four okay so the carbons are numbered six five four three uh, oops not six there's I just said it was a five carbon sugar what am I doing this is carbon number five four three two one so excuse me here this is actually carbon number two and this is carbon number three Forgive me for that error. At least I caught it. 
Okay, so here at carbon number two, we're going to have an OH going down, and this carbon number three, an OH going down. Okay, now it's beta, so the OH is going to be on the same side as the H2OH, so it's up, and that's it. That's ribose. Okay, ribose is important when we're talking about um, nucleic acids, right? RNA, ribonucleic acids. This is the sugar, the five, the pentose sugar that that they're actually concerned with, right? Pentose, five carbons, six carbons is a hexose. Okay. So the last one I want to mention is uh, deoxyribose, which looks like this. It looks pretty much exactly like um, ribose. So I want to draw the beta D deoxyribose, okay, which is also a five-carbon sugar. Okay, it looks nearly identical to ribose. The only difference is that the two prime or the two the the second carbon carbon number two instead of it's it's deoxy it doesn't have an oxygen here at carbon number two it's just a hydrogen hydrogen and another hydrogen here okay so here there's no um there's no OH group okay so it looks just like ribose looks just like ribose um like ribose except Carbon two has no um, OH group, right? And that's where the deoxy comes from. You lose that hydrogen. It's just a it's just a hydrogen at the the second carbon there. Okay, so we go back to these carbons: one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is beta D deoxyribose. So let's not forget this OH going up here. So then that's that's essentially it. Um what I'll have now is if you want to draw any of the other forms, you would simply manipulate them, knowing that that you know all these different things here, that if you want to turn it from a D to an L sugar, you just take everything that was up and and put it down, everything that was down, put it up, and then keep in mind that the beta has to be uh, cis to the CH2OH and the alpha has to be trans to the CH2OH. Like I said, I'll post a PDF along with this video so that you can see how the remainder of these drawings look. Okay, I hope that was helpful and good luck studying this stuff.